Now everybody should be seeing the uh, initial screen right here about our, our uh, XTS mobile DVR. Mobile DVRs, uh, even though they're they're considered for mobile applications, when we've been noticing, and this is a, a possibility for a lot of you guys as far as business opportunities, that they are being used for other functions other than just mobile applications. Some of the examples of the devices that are being used in in different applications are. For example, railroad crossings, where they're in remote locations, there's power there, but there's no network, there's no telephone lines, there's no type of uh, communications a lot of times. So they want to be able to see the railroad crossings, okay, and have monitoring, and they can have a, a type of monitoring where the <clears throat> every time an alarm goes off where a train is approaching, it will transmit the, the live video via the cellular network to the central monitoring station and they can actually see all the events that are happening at that point in time. Plus they have, because of the size of the units, the small footprint that they have, they will uh, fit in the compartments in the control unit compartments for the gate controls, light controls, and they're very rugged devices where they can withstand uh, a lot of vibration, uh, different temperature ranges, so they're built for that type of environment. So not only are they for mobile applications, but they are for, you can use them under different conditions. Another application that the devices are being used in are cellular tower uh, securities, where uh, the cellular uh, towers are putting in these units, four camera units, which are monitoring, they're monitoring for any type of contacts coming in or anything of, of that nature. And what happens is when the contact gets closed and it's an alarm event, it'll transmit the live video to the central monitoring station. So those are just two, two different scenarios where they're not mobile applications, but these devices are well suited for that type of application and environment. Um, Here's a little uh, information on the devices. The compression on devices are H.264, so you're getting uh, the best possible video with the best uh, use of your resources as far as hard drive space and bandwidth uh, transmission, especially since we're transmitting video through the cellular network. We don't want a big chunk of video trying to push through that small pipeline. Um, at, at that point. So what we're, what we're doing is we're using H.264 uh, uh, trans, um, compression on the recording end and on the transmitting end that we're transmitting the video through the cellular network. What that does is it makes the bandwidth smaller and the hard disk use a whole lot more uh, effective and efficient uh, with H.264 compression. The, the, the devices are manufactured for anti-vibration, for extreme conditions as far as heat, cold, uh, environmental situations like that. A lot of the times they're used in uh, buses, public transportation, transport trucks, vehicles, uh, armored cars, logistics, uh, military. You know, there's, there's a whole host of possibilities with these types of uh, devices. There's basically two different types per se. The, um, they have the 4-channel and the 8-channel version and within the 4 and 8-channel versions there's different segments of devices. Some have communications, some don't have communications which we'll, show, we'll see that a little bit further in the presentation. Uh, you can get different types of communication in some of the devices depending on the model. One thing to bear in mind is that when the, basically when the device gets shipped, uh, it cannot be upgraded. For example, that you order a device with 3G communication and it does not have GPS communication in there, it, you can't really in the field upgrade it to a GPS uh, device where it will receive the signal from the satellite and give you positioning and tracking. So always bear in mind as in the long run and in the future for your projects and your clients that uh, when the devices get shipped, basically it's almost impossible to upgrade them in the field 
to add more uh, functions or, or features hardware to the device. That is because everything is built within the device. Basically, everything's built on the board. So it would take a big retrofit as far as changing boards and uh, many things in there uh, that is not really feasible or, or adequate to be done in the field on that. Like uh, we're seeing here, the devices can come with GPS, Wi-Fi. They do integrate into Google Maps. Also, they integrate into Map Info, which is a, another uh, mapping system. Uh, I believe that one you have to pay for. But in some certain locations uh, in, in the remote areas, the maps are of better quality on that. All units ship with a CMS monitoring system, okay? software for your tracking and also a playback software so that when you do your backups of your recordings you are be able to view and analyze those playbacks with some forensic features that we'll go into. Right here what we're looking at is the two or basically there's three segments but like I said earlier there's four and eight channel units the only A channel unit that we have is the 9604 or 9608 rather and uh, that unit has eight channels of uh, video input and the, with that unit you can have the 3G, Wi-Fi and GPS in there. The 9304, 9404 are your basic units. Those two units they do not have any type of communication other than you can get them with GPS. Now GPS is not a, a communications per se. What it's basically doing, it receives the, the satellite signal through its GPS receiver and it records that on the recording. So on playback, when you do the playback of a backup of one of the 9304 or 9404 units, you will be, see, you will be able to see the coordinates of the, the device, the direction, the speed, and all these things because those that the longitude and latitude of the signal that it is receiving at that moment in time is recorded and embedded into the video. The 9504-9604 are two four-channel units. Um, we can see by the ending of the four on there. And these units can have 3G, Wi-Fi, and GPS on there. They also have an Ethernet port, uh, RJ45, so you don't necessarily have to have any type of those communications. Uh, if you put them, we had a, a project that was going into subways. Now there's no GPS signal in, in subways, and a lot of times the cellular communication is bad, but these are not units that are moving, and they had an, a network connection to the device, and they were using it because of the small footprint put it into some small, very small kiosk monitoring locations, towers, and they were able to uh, use the device because, again, it had the Ethernet connection and the small footprint, plus you're getting the H.264 communication and uh, compression. The first device that we're going to be looking at is the MDV-R9304. This unit uh, records on an SD card up to 32 gigs. It's a four channel input unit. We see that there's six alarm in, two alarm out. H.264 uh, compression, dual stream. What basically is dual stream, but the second stream on this unit is not being used. Uh, on the units that do have the communications, like the 3G and Ethernet port, the second stream is what's being transmitted because it's, it's transmitting at a small, so, smaller resolution and um, instead of like D1 that we're recording locally and have the capacity to do so on the hard drive and on the SD card, we're transmitting at, at SIF. But those are only on the units that do have the communications. The MDV-R9404 is basically the same unit as the 9304. The only difference is that this is a hard drive unit. Hard drive goes in into the caddy where we can see that the caddy is removable. A lot of times the customers will have um, an additional caddy go with the unit 
uh, that's an option. And basically what they'll do is one, once one hard drive fills up, they'll pop that hard drive out, put the new caddy in, and they'll continue. That'll give them time to go ahead and uh, back up the hard drive of the caddy that they had just removed on there. This unit has no communication, but you can have a GPS uh, receiver uh, with the unit coming from, from, from us on that. Four channels again, six uh, alarm inputs, uh, two outputs. Uh, the firmware will support up to a one terabyte drive uh, in the unit, and they basically use 2.5 based laptop drives. The 9504 is similar in functions to the 9304 that it records on an SD card up to 32 gigs, but this one does have communication. You can have it come with Wi-Fi, you can have it come with GPS, and you can have it come with 3G communication. Here in the States, we've uh, tested the, the units with both AT&T and um, T-Mobile. And depending on the area is the communication uh, quality that you will get, whether it's through AT&T or T-Mobile. Nowadays, they're one, basically, on that. But they do function, and they function f fairly well uh, with that. Once again, this one does record on a 32-gig SD card. It is four channels, and you can have the communications. The 3G communication is to transmit the video and the positioning of the unit to the CMS software or to the server and via the CMS software you will be able to retrieve that information. The GPS is the signal that is getting from the satellite and that's recorded onto the recording via the hard drive or SD card and also transmitted to the server and you will be able to retrieve that information via the GPS. And Wi-Fi is used basically so that when the units come into a depot a staging area, they can automatically download into a separate server with running a separate software the recording of that day. So you'll have always that redundancy factor in there with the Wi-Fi. Now it is a different installation and it's a different server that you uh, uh, connect and it's a totally different LAN by itself. Um, and the unit will transmit automatically all of its recording onto that server. So you have that backup. Let me pause for a second here. I see that there's some messages being sent. Okay, 